Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. I have been asked about my hair loss that was caused by the hair dye. The question I get asked is, how long did it take my hair to grow back? So today I am going to share the progress along with photos and share what I am doing to help heal the damaged areas. The damaged areas are still healing and it has been a very slow process. It wasn't until six or seven months after I ditched the dye that my hair filled in and I started to see some really good progress. Unfortunately, it only grows up to a certain length. It won't grow any more than a little bit past my eyebrows. So maybe about right here is where it stops. The short hair is not like bang. People think I have bangs, but it's kind of like jaggedy so it's not even like really nice here are photos of my hair that i took last year and here are photos that i recently took of my hair The rest of my hair has grown, it's gotten pretty long, but the hair in the damaged areas, and it's not just here, there's little pockets of hair here and there throughout my head that, where I had lost some hair too. But this is really the most noticeable, it kind of blends in in the back. But when I pull my hair back, you see all this short hair, it's kind of mixed in with the long areas, but if you look closely you'll be able to see the short hair so this is it I pull my hair back and it just looks so sloppy and so messy when you are watching videos and my hair is in my face like this and you're wondering why doesn't she just flick her hair back well now you know why I'm trying to hide the little bits of hair that just won't grow to me it just looks really sloppy and I just don't like the way it looks so I just keep my hair like this I have done almost everything I can think of to help stimulate hair growth. I don't use heat on my hair. I mostly don't use heat on my hair because I don't want my hair to turn yellow, but I was also hoping that it would help heal the damaged areas a lot faster. You know, by not applying heat, I'm not weakening my hair, just hoping that it would help my hair get stronger. I try to use as little product as possible on my hair. I just don't want any product buildup. I want my hair to be as healthy as possible. I massage my scalp every single day. When I wash my hair twice a week, I give my scalp a good massage. And I really focus on the damaged areas. And I actually found this at the dollar store. It's a scalp massager that you use in the shower when you're washing your hair. And you just place it on your scalp and you give it a nice little massage. So I've been giving myself massages with uh, scalp massages with this in the shower and when I'm not in the shower and then throughout the day I'm continue I massage I'll just give myself a little five to ten minute massage while I'm either watching TV or reading something I'm just massaging the damaged areas hoping to stimulate the hair growth I've applied oil and massaged it into my scalp hoping that that would help and I practice yoga for hair growth. I've done everything that I can think of except for using a hair serum for hair growth. I haven't done that yet but I think that is going to be the next thing that I do and hopefully that works. I know that some can cause your hair to turn yellow so I'm a little nervous about that and that's one of the reasons why I hadn't tried that yet is I don't want to have another problem. I'm already trying to grow this out and then Having to deal with yellow hair because of the medication that I'm applying is just too much, too stressful for me. If you've tried something on your silver hair and it worked really, really well and it didn't stain your hair, please let me know about it because I've been looking everywhere for a really good one. I've been so overwhelmed with all the different brands and all the different choices. So it might take a while to find something that I really, really like and that I trust. So maybe you could help cut that time down if you've tried one. So that is my update. It's been a very slow process, but I can't complain because my hair has grown out, it's grown back. I'd rather have bits of short hair here and there throughout my head than no hair throughout my head. So 
if it stays like this and it doesn't grow anymore, then I'll live with it, obviously. I mean, I have no choice, but I'll just have to figure out other ways to cover it up, like adding bangs, maybe have some layers in there to kind of kind of blend it all in. But for now, I'm trying what I can to help stimulate my hair so it can grow a little more, and hopefully it will. And if it doesn't, then I'll, I'm gonna be okay. I'll live with it. So I just wanted to let you know, so that way, if you're having the same issues, you know that you're not the only one and if you've figured out a way to stimulate the hair growth maybe with the hair serum or you know something that would help let me know so I can give it a try thank you so much for watching thank you for joining me if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye